Since the War of 1982, leftover landmines have been a damaging legacy in the Falkland Islands, rendering beaches, countryside and settlements unsafe and dangerous. In an 11-year project, Safe Lane Global have been working to clear these explosive remnants of war and are on the cusp of completely making the islands free of mines, with expected completion in late 2020. Specialist demining teams have completely cleared 22 million metres squared of land that will be returned to the Falkland Islands community in which an estimated 12,000 anti-personnel mines were disposed of and thousands of additional items of unexploded ordnance have been removed. Operations are now beginning to wind down as the project nears completion and in recognition of their hard work, a Deminers Thank You event was hosted by members of the Legislative Assembly in the Town Hall, where speeches were held and certificates of commendation were awarded by His Excellency the Governor of the Falkland Islands, Nigel Phillips, to 36 Zimbabwean members who leave the project. Personally, I would say to them a huge thanks for the job they've done for Safe Lane Global, the job they've done for the Falkland Islands, and the job they've done for the Foreign Commonwealth Office. Because it, is, um, it has been a tremendous challenge. As you know, the weather here is not kind, and uh, the conditions the guys have worked in day in, day out, Without a grumble, you know, you can ask for a better workforce. We've had a, a lot of help from the local community, lots of different people. The, the, the list is enormous, the amount of people that have helped us from the local community. So I'd like to say thank you to them as well. In 2018, Goose Green became the first settlement to be cleared. In addition, York Bay, Rookery Bay and Surf Bay are just some of the stunning areas which the Falkland Islands community will be able to access for the first time since 1982, to which many thought would never be possible. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's massive. Um, it's actually really quite hard to describe how important it is to the islands. You know, as someone who was here before 1982, but has grown up, uh, you know, with landmines, uh, to have, to be within sight of a future, that uh, you know that the Falklands are, are landmine clear is something I never dared hope, and so you know I, I think it's it's the most incredible project, and uh, filled with admiration for the guys. We wanted to be able to give the D miners individually something that they could take away, some acknowledgement, personal acknowledgement from the community, um, and so with this this first kind of tranche of them leaving was seemed like the ideal opportunity. We discussed with uh, with Safe Lane you know, what we could do and, um, and the sort of official certificate, that's not, that's not something that, you know, the Falklands does very often. So, you know, it was, it was just some way of recognising them individually as well as the, the kind of group, I guess, that, that will probably come later. For people Don't under know. the age of 38, the islands will be officially mindless for the first time in their lives, all thanks to the hard work of an estimated 150 people who derive from a variety of different countries including Lebanon, the UK and the Falcons. A large proportion have come from the Republic of Zimbabwe, who are highly skilled with extensive experience of demining. This is very special and again, it's so sad to say we start losing some of our team members. But what can you do? That's coming to the end of the project. So the numbers starting to reduce in numbers bit by bit up the end. You can see the appreciation from the community, which brings even up to the governor to say thank you to the deminers, which give us to say, oh, so they appreciate the job which you've done, because it's for them, for their future. We're going to unlock that land for them, for their kids, for the future of their kids. By the day I leave the island, I'll be very sad because Falklanders are very friendly people. And this is one of the countries which have got peace in the world. I had the pleasure of hosting some of the D-miners at Government House to celebrate their endeavors. And I remember the toast at the end of the evening to brave men, and brave men you are. I'd simply add my thanks to all that you have done but it's been a privilege for me to be here in the islands whilst you've been doing your work. 